Welcome back. I'm going to do a full walkthrough from VGS Collect all the way to sending to a payment gateway, in this case Stripe. So before you get started, I'm assuming you've already started testing with your particular gateway or processor that you're going to use. I'm going to go to the payment method for Stripe's docs, grab the key, test out a transaction, see how it works. I've created the authorization with that key put in the test credit card just like in that curl example, send the request, I get a payment object back. All right, cool. So let's actually do that with VGS. So if you've done the previous videos, uh, definitely remove all the routes or create another sandbox. Uh, there's a quick wizard for creating payments. So if you try it out and do Stripe, I'm going to take that key, I saved it from uh, sending that curl request. It's going to set up the routes. So this will handle the routes for you, set up the logging, and then create a zip file of an actual project where it has the VGS collect and it has a Python server to send the request on the back end. So if I go to my downloads, unzip it. And then if you open that folder, you'll see there's a Docker file, and then in the source code, you see the Python server. So I'm already, it's my old one, CD into downloads again, CD into VGS payments. All right, cool. So if I do Docker up, copy this. So I've unzipped it, Docker up. It's going to go ahead and build this container. As soon as it's done building, it'll have the steps that you need to follow to complete the flow. So right now the dashboard is going to have the routes being created. And then once that's, that's uh, well, it's already created, but once the actual container is generated, we need to still set up a upstream for the inbound route. So if you look up a little bit, it's going to have you go into the inbound route. You go back here, inbound route. All right, so instead of using the echo server, you actually want to uh, use ngrock. The ngrock is just making your local server available externally. So if we save this, update the upstream. So just pretend this is the server you're sending to, your, your server. That's going to save the, the aliases in your database. And then once that's saved, we're going to go to that public facing website, which is actually the same thing. All right. I'm just going to take it from my postman. Five twenty twenty one All right, so what this project is going to do, this is VGS Collect. You submit it from the VGS Collect uh, on your website. It'll go through the inbound route, alias it, send the aliases to your server, which is the Python server. Turn around, Python will go ahead and post that to Stripe in the, in the payload that they want, and Stripe will get that. that the actual revealed credit card information. So if we go into the logs, what you'll see is this inbound route. Look at the body. It's aliasing the information on the inbound. Look at the outbound. Look at the body. It's in the payload form that the, the Stripe API expects. So it's exactly what they want. And it's revealing just the sensitive information that you aliased. Now, just, just to add to it, if you wanted to, if you, if you remember setting up the outbound route with, with uh, Postman, if you tried to send it with those aliases, you should get, a, it should get an incorrect credit card. So remember, you need to, you'll need to uh, go into the preferences and enable the proxy. So I've already done this like you saw before. And if we send it again, you'll see that payment alias be generated again. So this 
goes through the entire process from start to finish with Stripe. Uh, this adds the benefit of being able, in case Stripe is down, you have the ability to route it to another payment gateway like CyberSource or another processor like Adyen. Uh, and then the additional benefit is if you, if you get better, better rates with another processor, then this is to your advantage. And that's it.